world, welcome back to another tutorial! Today we're going to be fixing a bug, because I found a bug, and uh, it's not my fault, this is not my bug, this is Apple's bug. I reached out to their development forum, or whatever that is, uh, and they said that it's probably a bug to do with the GPU. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve it in our own way, because that's what we do. First of all, let me show you the bug. So basically, I'm just gonna add a quad to the scene, so I'll say, let quad equal quad, and then I'm gonna add that as a child to the scene. Okay, that was easy enough. Let's also scale the quad up a little bit. Dot set scale. Let's set it two times. And we're going to move the quad dot move x. Let's move it over two. Okay. And then we're also going to, instead of moving this, well, well dot move x. Let's go negative one. Sorry, negative two. And let's press play and see what happens. So basically, this is the well. And afterwards, we're drawing the quad. And the quad's using the same textures. Inside of our graphics shaders, basic shaders, we are saying inside of our back basic fragment shader, if not is null texture, base color map. But for some reason, this isn't a null texture. This is an actual texture, so it's still sampling, uh, even though there's nothing bound. And if I press this little capture button down here, we'll capture a frame and we'll, we can dive in to see exactly why this might be happening. All right, so on the left here, you'll see we're drawing a bunch of stuff. I'll make this a little bit bigger. We're doing rendering sun, rendering well. Inside of the well, we have these two textures set. We have this one right here, which is of course that. And right here, we have the normal map. Cool. But when we get to rendering the quad next, looks like when we finally get to this draw index primitives, there is no texture set. However, it is still using that texture. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I don't know why. I reached out. They said that it was some GPU bug. So I got to do some sort of a, I got to contact them and say, hey, there's a problem. And I'll go through that. But for now, we're going to make our own fix. So um, yeah, let's jump into that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close everything, go into core types, metal types. And just like we were doing before, I'm going to create another variable right here called use base texture equals false. And my cat wants to say hello. This is Gratch and Gratch wants attention, but I can't give you attention right now. Where were we? Ah, oh, yes, use base texture. So we're gonna set that equal to false. We're just gonna copy that. We're also gonna go use normal map texture. So we have use base texture, use normal map texture right there. I'm gonna close this. Let's go into our graphics, into our shaders, into shared.metal, and also do the same here. So here's that struct material. Uh, and we're gonna also pass in the bool use base texture bool use normal map texture cool so those are default so we don't need to set those here but those are default by uh by default those are these are false by default um and in our basic shaders instead of doing this not is null texture let's just go material dot use base texture and right here we're gonna say material dot use normal map texture and if you press play we should see some sort of a difference. And yeah, so now they're blank. None of them are using a texture because we are just passing in false. So we need to set some of these to true and some of them not to true. Let's press stop. Let's go into our entities libraries mesh library and go up to the top to show you where the heck I am. Uh, I'm gonna go down to the class mesh and then I'm gonna go into the function draw primitives. That's where I wanna be. Uh, in draw primitives, as you can see, every single time we draw primitives, we do this apply textures. So I'm gonna just kind of command click that, jump to definition, and that'll send me to this apply textures. This is where we set the textures on the render command encoder. Uh, so basically what I'm gonna just do to fix this is I'm gonna say var use base texture. I'm gonna say that equals, well, if this custom base texture uh, does not equal dot none, or the base texture, color texture, does not equal nil, then we want to use the base texture. Uh, and then I'm gonna also do the same thing for var use normal map texture. I'm gonna set that equal to normal map texture type does not equal dot none. And we're gonna have to do this for every single texture type that we add, but that's okay. It, uh, it's gonna just protect us from any Apple bugs because those exist all the time. Uh, and then right here, we're gonna say normal map texture does not equal nil. 
And so now, if we pass in something other than dot none, it will use it. Uh, if we pass in, if this has some sort of a color texture as assigned to it, it will use it. Otherwise, it won't because we are going to say if use base texture or use normal map texture. And in fact, I'm going to change it up just a little bit to kind of simplify things. Material.use base texture equals instead of creating a new variable we could just use the material because we have a material on our sub mesh if i scroll up you'll see we have a material already so i'm just going to set that material dot use and then we can just basically copy this paste it right there copy this paste it right there um, if that's the case then we want to do that so for now, uh, maybe down the line, I'll go through and I will remove these or put them into their own, like if use base texture. The only reason I'm wrapping this value right here uh, is because if either one of these is nil, we don't actually need to set a sampler state. Otherwise we need to set nil. So this will say render command encoder dot set fragment texture to nil because base texture will be nil. This will finally set it to uh, this, which will be nil. Um, yeah, this should work just fine. Also, I'm going to rename this. I'm gonna go, fact, uh, go go up to this normal map texture, refactor, rename. Okay, apparently it doesn't want to, but we can say custom normal map texture type and we'll go custom normal map texture type, custom normal map texture type. And also where we're saying apply textures up here in mesh dot draw primitives. We need to go into apply textures and do custom as that name as well because we want it to match that one. Okay, so I'm gonna build, we're gonna press play, and we're gonna see what happens. Everything breaks still because I need to go back down to apply textures, paste that, press play, and let's see what it looks like. And just like that, we're back to normal where we have a well on this side using its own textures and a quad using this texture. So I'll say quad.use base color texture, and we're gonna use dot party parrot. Because that's what we do around here. We use the party parrot, pirate parrot, image to uh, to test things. And just like that, we're back to normal where on the left hand side, we have just our well with its textures and now the party parrot pirate uh, is looking snazzy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry for that little bug. I didn't do it. Blame Apple. Um, see you next time.